we've been talking about mixture distributions and in particular mixtures of Gaussian distributions. And now it's time to solve the problem of how to learn the parameters for these models given a data set. So we're, as with everything else we've been doing with unsupervised learning methods, we're given a set of points in some feature space. We need to estimate uh, the means for each of our Gaussians, and, and our Gaussians are going to define our clusters. We need to estimate the covariance matrices for the clusters, and then finally we need to estimate the weighting of the different uh, clusters. There is no closed form solution to uh, deriving all of these model parameters, but just as we saw with uh, soft boundary k-means, we can actually take an iterative approach to estimating these. So the outline of the algorithm looks like this, and then we'll get into uh, some of the details. We first take a guess at all of our mixture model parameters. There are good ways to take that first guess. And then we walk through all of the points in our data set and probabilistically assign them to the different clusters. So, so this is not the hard boundary uh, type of assignment. Uh, we can assign a point to multiple classes with various weights. Once we finish the assignment, we re-estimate the, the mixture model parameters uh, given that assignment. And then we repeat with number two and we continue through that loop until we've reached a point where we aren't making any more changes to our model. So let's work through a little bit of the mathematics, at least to, to get an intuition behind uh, this process. All right, we're actually going to be using a class of uh, algorithm called expectation maximization. Uh, before we jump into that uh, level of detail, let's just recall from our soft boundary k-means that we computed the means in the following way. So this is soft boundary. Within the soft boundary algorithm, we iteratively estimated the new means, and then we reassigned points to uh, the, the different uh, clusters. And each time we uh, computed the new means in this way. So mean for cluster K is just a weighted sum of the points in the in that cluster. So this is a sum over all of the points and the weighting is based on our P I K. And then that's divided by just the sum of our P I Ks. So in some sense, you can think of this as just counting the number of samples in the cluster, except some don't count as much as, uh, as others. Okay, so our full problem then, we have this likelihood function that looks like this. We have our M0, sigma 0, M1, sigma 1, out to M big K minus 1 and sigma big K minus 1. And then we have our weights, W0, W1, out to W big K minus 1. So there's a lot there. Um, our goal is to estimate all of these things here. So step one of this algorithm, as we've already talked about, is we're going to, to guess at all of these parameters. For the Ws, a, a reasonable choice is to pick those uniformly. For the cluster means, there are, as we've talked about with the soft boundary approach, there are a variety of different ways to initialize this. What I like to do 
is just sample the data set. So I pick k samples and use those as the initial cluster means. And then finally, for sigma k, again, there are a variety of ways to do this. A reasonable thing to do here is to just compute uh, sigma over all of the data and, and use that or some function of that. So in this case, what we do is we fit a single Gaussian distribution to all of the points in, in our data set that gives us a covariance matrix. And then we use that same covariance matrix or a function of it for uh, all of our individual uh, sigma k's. The next step, as with the soft boundary k-means algorithm, is that we're going to compute the membership of all of the points in the various clusters. And we've already talked about the uh, essence of this. So we're going to compute a score for the i sample and the k cluster. And we're going to go ahead and include the constant here. So there's a transpose there. And then our covariance in the inverse of that matrix. OK. And, and then we're going to compute our probabilities. So P, probability of sample I being in class K, we're just going to assign that to be equal to uh, the weight of class K times our score. And, and then that is divided by, we're going to iterate over all of the classes, we'll call those j's, and that's w, j, s, i, j. So again, we're in this situation where if we were to sum up all of our p, i, k's over all possible k's, then those equal to 1. The next step is to compute new Ws. And fundamentally here, what we're doing is we're counting the number of samples that we now have assigned to every cluster. The, the, the caveat here is that we're counting in this uh, soft way. So a sample that's right in between two cluster centers, it's going to be assigned half probability or, or half a point to each of the two clusters. So we'll just call it, refer to this as soft counting. So we're going to update the WKs. And this is just a sum of all of the probabilities over all of the samples. And that's divided by the number of samples. So again, when we, when we do things in this way, it is the case that if we sum all of the WKs together, they turn out to be equal to 1. All right, and the next step is to compute 
our distribution parameters, in particular the individual distribution parameters. And uh, for the, the mean location, this looks just like the soft boundary k-means clustering. Sum over all samples. And we'll divide by PIK. And we won't go through the derivation here, but for those who uh, are interested, um, here is what the update looks like for your sigma k. Again, we're going to take a sum over all of the samples weighted by PIK. And it's mk minus xi and mk minus xi transpose. And the denominator is just our sum of our pi case. All right, so when, so, so mk and xi, these are column vectors. So the difference here is a column vector. This piece here is a row vector. When we multiply a column vector by a row vector in this order, we end up with a, uh, a matrix. And this is the, the covariance for sample i and cluster k. All right, so, so all, all that we're doing here is taking a weighted sum of all of these individual covariances uh, together in order to uh, arrive at this sigma k. And that's, that's the, the essence here. Uh, the, the very next step, step five, is repeat. At step two. So step two, just to bring us back, step two is again, given these new clusters that we've just uh, computed, we then compute new memberships for all of the points. And then we compute our Ws, compute the individual distribution parameters, and then we repeat uh, again. And we continue to do that either for uh, a fixed number of steps or we, we can stop early uh, if our parameters are no longer changing. All right, so that's that's the essence of the algorithm. We glossed over a number of different uh, details there, uh, but if you're interested, there are lots of good sources out on the net for what this uh, full algorithm looks like. Next up, let's do a, a, a quick uh, demonstration on paper as to what this algorithm looks like, uh, and then uh, we'll start working on some code.